Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the video. So here today we're going to cover a few things on Webman Mod. And I know I may have covered some of these things separately in other videos, but I haven't made a video I think where these things that we need to cover have been all in one place. So I'm going to do it right here. So we're going to talk about fully deleting uh, Webman Mod completely uh, out of your system so that way you can either reinstall it again or go backwards, install an older version, or install the original version that came with Rebug, or just if you want to delete it and just leave it gone out of your system completely, uh, we'll show you how to do that. I am on Rebug 4.81. This doesn't matter whether it's Kex or Dex. Obviously, this is for modded PSs only. That should go without saying. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I will cover those of you who are on regular CFW when we get to that area. I will uh, cover for you what you guys need to do. So what uh, we need to do first is disable Webman and restart the system so that Webman is not um, uh, is not on. So here, let me show you. I'm going to go into my Webman setup. All right. And you should see, if you look up here in the corner, you'll see I'm on 1.47.05. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Okay. And what we need to do is disable uh, Webman. So go into the Rebug Toolbox, which I'm going to do right now. Uh, disable Webman and do a full reboot. Those of you who are on a different CFW that's not Rebug, you're going to need to disable Webman. More than likely, it installed using the boot plugins text. You should know what I'm talking about. So either delete the blue, uh, boot plugin text from the dev hdd0 directory or delete the line in that text file that launches it. Um, that way it doesn't start up when you reboot again. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, don't, don't worry about it. Um, those of you who are not on Rebug CFW, you should know what I'm talking about. Um, so. For the rest of us on Rebug, we're just going to go ahead, disable it in the Rebug toolbox, and then come back to the XMB. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then I'll meet you here. Now, those of you who watched the video that I made right before this one, uh, which was about the CFW Extras, if you um, installed this Webman Games as an add-on using the CFW Extras app, when you turn off Webman, this folder will still stay there, which is fine. You could just leave it there unless you never plan on using Webman again. Then you could just delete it the way I showed you how to do it in that video. Um, otherwise, if you're going to use it again later, that's fine. Just leave it there. Just make sure that you don't select anything from in here because Webman is deactivated. You may lock up or freeze up or something to your PS3. All right. So um, just remember, if you put it here via the CFW Extras, it's going to stay there even when you deactivate Webman, which is perfectly fine. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and you're going to go, if you have the Webman mod on here on your XMB somewhere, the next step is to hit triangle on it and you're going to go ahead and delete it. Now I'm going to leave it on here. Actually, no, let me go ahead and, and just delete it. That way you can follow along. So we're going to go ahead and delete it. Okay. Now I'm going to go into there. Uh, let's go ahead and let's... All right, so here we are at Multiman. Let's go into the file manager. We're going to go up here to PS3 root. The right thumbstick moves the arrow around. We're going to double press X on it. The left thumbstick moves this window around. All right, then once here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the dev hdd0 directory. Let's move this up a bit. And we're going to scroll all the way down. We should see this XML host folder there. We're going to press X one time, hit circle, scroll down to delete, and press X. And we're just going to hit yes. All right, and that XML host folder should have disappeared. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is, for those of you who used a CFW that it's not Rebug, uh, we're going to scroll up using the D-pad up, and let's go to Plugins, and you'll probably see that you have the web FTP server.sprx file there. You're just going to delete it the same way, press X on it once, hit circle, and then select delete. For those of us, the rest of us who are on Rebug, the next step uh, instead of that one is going to be that we need to go into the game folder, not games, but game, lowercase, without the S, and we're going to go down here, okay, and if you see this folder here, XMBMANPLS, we can just go ahead and um, 
press X on it one time and then we can hit circle and just delete it all right now um, with that done the webman mod folder we deleted it from the XMB so it's no longer here it usually says where uh, up web mod or something like that when you delete it from the XMB it should be gone from here so I don't see it so that's good you can hit left on the d-pad and it'll take you backwards one step or upwards whatever you want to call it the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go scroll down with the d-pad to TMP press X on it twice to go into it and everything and anything that starts with a WM needs to get deleted press X on it one time so right there Let's go there, ah, there, see, oh, I keep pressing the wrong one, there, there, this one, yours may differ, yours might be a little bit different, but these are all the files that start with WM, whether it's a uh, folder or whether it's a file, whether it has an underscore or not, you see these all start with WM, and as long, even this one that says WMTMP, anything that starts with the letters WM needs to get deleted. Now we're going to hit circle. And we're going to delete all of this and hit yes we're going to hit yes again okay and that's all gone all right so technically this is it what you could do here if you wanted to is you could uh, get out of multi-man here let's go to games double press x on the games icon go here and then we could do a restart right here all right and you can restart the system however if you turn on Webman in the Rebug Toolbox, you'll notice, in my case, it's still going to show 1.47.05. It's not going to go back to the one that came with Rebug. So right now, I'm going to show you how to put the one that came with Rebug. All right, in the link in the description, there is a file. Uh, there, there's a, down, uh, a link to download my file, which is the webftpserver.sprx dot bak you're going to just take that file and i'm going to show you where to put it so those of you who are ftp and can put it where i'm showing you where it goes uh those of you who are using like multi-man here just put that file anywhere on a usb stick it really doesn't matter we need to write into the dev flash so those of you who are ftp either uh get into rebug so it gives you access to uh, the dev flash if you're here in multi-man we can uh, go over here to settings you can hit up on the d-pad and uh, it'll bring you straight to the bottom and if you're in Cobra mode you'll see the right access to dev flash here and just enable it if you're in regular multi-man mode it'll be located up here like two or three spots higher okay so just enable it let's go back to the file manager and now we're gonna go um, we are going to, in case the window closed on you, you can go here to PS3 root and open it again. Okay. Uh, I put the file in my USB, so it's here in dev USB 000. Double press X on it, and I put it here in this folder. And there it is, webftpserver.sprx.back. I'm going to leave this window open. Let's go here to PS3 root, double press X on it. Now we're going to go into the dev blind folder. Be very careful and make sure you follow exactly what I tell you to do. You are in the dev flash, and if you make a mistake, you will completely fuck up your PS3, more than likely. Um, so, well, not completely. It may just do a soft brick. All right, so uh, let's go now into module. Oh, wait, I don't think I showed you where you needed to go. Once you go into dev blind, go into VSH, then go into module. Now, I believe you can hit like R1 to scroll down quicker. So just keep hitting R1. I mean R2, my bad. R2. You're going to do R2 to scroll down. Now, notice here it, it says webserver.sprx.back. Uh, you're going to overwrite this one with this one here. And the reason why you're going to do that is because this one here is 1.47.05 when you turn webman back on in the rebug toolbox this point this is the one it's going to activate and uh, so what we're doing is we're putting the original one back so let's go ahead and highlight this one we're going to press go over hit circle it's already on copy press x 
Okay, and it's going to say copy to clipboard. We're going to go over here. Press, <coughs> sorry, press, uh, put the arrow anywhere up here on the top bar. Press X one time just to move the window forward. Press circle. Paste will be highlighted. Press X and hit yes. <coughs> sorry. And now it will put it back. Now we're going to go ahead, go in, you can close these windows. Go over here to games, double press X. We need to disable webman, uh, I mean the um, right to dev flash. So we're going to go here and hit disable. And now we're going to do a full reboot. So let's go down here to restart system and press X. Okay, so that's it. If you followed all the steps, Webman Mod is completely out of your system and you've put the one that came with Rebug 4.81 back into um, Rebug. So everything should be as though you installed Rebug fresh in terms of Webman Mod. So you should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go into the Rebug toolbox, I'm going to activate it, I'm going to reboot, and I'm going to come back uh, to the XMB to show you um, that I'm back. All right, so here we are back at the XMB, and if we go over to the Webman Games folder, you'll notice there are the icons. They are back to being stock, right? And when I go here, there see there's no second column, so you can already see the difference. And here you can see the difference right there. And if we go up here, I don't know if you can see it all that good, but it says 1.45.09. This is the one that comes with Rebug uh, uh, 4.81. So it's back to the stock one. All right. So now you can go ahead and shut it off if you want, or you can try installing Webman Mod again, or you can install any Webman Mod you want that's all above 1.45.09. Um, I was going to show you how to downgrade to any webman you want, but it's going to, it takes a few steps and this video is really going on longer than I wanted it to. Sorry for that. I know my video is always long, but I try to make them detail. So I'm going to do that in the very next video. I'll try and get it done either tonight or tomorrow. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see.